Hey guys, Felipe here, and I wanted to make a video about my cash out refinance that I had on my property. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me to kind of document how that went, and here it goes. So before I get started, obviously hit the like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel because I want to keep bringing you value with this. Now, let's get started. So the first thing that I did was I called a bank and said, hey, I have this rental property. I owe maybe $150,000 on it. I think it's worth two fifty dollars or two forty. dollars um, I'd like to get a cash out refinance. Now, I was scared to do that because I hadn't done any upgrades to the property. The only reason that it was worth that much was because the comparables um, were pulling that, right? The houses next door were selling for 220, 230. Some were going for as high as 300. So I felt like my property was worth that much. No upgrades. So this is what I did. Reached out to the bank. The bank started the application. I sent them everything and eventually they got a appraiser. So we got to the appraiser portion of the application and the appraiser came out to my house. Now I went out to meet him as well and I was like, hey, you know, is there anything that I can tell you about the house? And basically he said no. He walked the whole property by himself. It took him about 15 minutes tops. He didn't say anything to me but hi, bye, and that was really it. He didn't, he didn't ask me how old the roof was. He didn't check the windows. He went in, he measured, he kind of looked around a little bit, flicked on some lights and then left. I was super surprised because he didn't ask me what upgrades I had done. It didn't even look like he cared. It was super crazy. So from that, uh, today I actually found out that that house appraised for 240. Um, and with that, I owed 160, so I'm gonna cash out refinance the difference. Now, if you don't know what that means, it basically means if I owe 160 and the mortgage, or I'm sorry, if the mortgage is 160 and it appraises for, let's say, 240, then a bank can give me 80, 90, whatever percent of that gap um, as money back, they'll get a new loan. Now, let me tell you why I did this. When I bought the property, I bought the property on the loan, what's called an ARM. Right, it's an adjustable rate mortgage, ARM, ARM. And that was for five years. Now that is a terrible loan to get. I actually don't recommend that to anybody. The reason that I got it was because it was such a good deal and I wasn't able for traditional financing. So I had to get this in-house loan from the bank that I'm now going to refinance into a traditional 30 year mortgage, cash out 20 grand or 30, whatever the case may be, however much I want, and uh, you know get into a 30 year mortgage. Now I didn't wanna lose the property, so I made sure to get it, even if it was on a bad loan, but I had five years to make sure that I got it into a better loan. I knew that in five years my, my position was gonna be better and I was gonna be able to get it. So it didn't stop me from pulling the trigger on a property, but I knew I, I was burning the, the, the candle at both ends, is that what they say? But basically I needed to get out of that loan immediately and the property appraised for higher than, than I thought, so that was great. So all in all, I bought the property for uh, 190, I believe. Uh, I got it down to 160, uh, you know, after I put down my 20% down and then some payments on the mortgage. And then I was able to refinance um, into a 30 year mortgage. So get out of the bad arm, the adjustable rate mortgage, uh, get some money out. And now I'm going to use that money to buy more rental property. And that's kind of how the game goes. Now, I don't traditionally preach the Burr method, if you will. But in this instance, it worked because I was in a bad mortgage or a mortgage that had me at five years right now typically people do that with hard money or things like that <clears throat> i just had a five-year mortgage that i needed to get out of before it adjusted to a higher rate appraiser came in didn't even check the property it was quick fast in a hurry i bet he just did comparables in the neighborhood and went from there and that's perfect for me he didn't ask me any questions and he kept going about his business that being said get some money out and then uh, you know on to the next property so if you guys enjoy these type of uh, you know small snippets let me know I'll make sure to make more videos of my real estate journey and I'll be able to help you guys out as well follow me on Instagram at Felipe Mejia rei as well as um, you know on YouTube make sure that you hit the like comment and subscribe button so thanks guys be back soon